I'm going to talk about marriage between women and women and men and men. You see, when two women get together, there, one of them have to be the head, the leader. The same thing with a man and a woman. See, if you just pay attention, one of them always act like a man. It's no different. That's what a lot of people do not understand. It's no different. One got to be a leader. Both of them can be the same. Same thing with the man and the woman. That's why God put the man to be the head. You have to have one leader to rule. That's just how it is. It is what it is. So you can't change that. It's like when two women get together. You know, one of the women always try to act like a man and be the boss and be the leader. You know, the same thing with the man and the woman. The man is supposed to be the leader because God put him to be the head, the leader. He's got to be unto one mind. It's the only way that we'll get along. We have to have let one lead, one rule. It's like working on a job. It's the same way. That's why we have supervisor, foreman, stuff. Break it down. You know, it's like the, the husband, the wife, and the children. You know, you can't have everybody leading because everybody have different mind. So they all have to come under one mind. So that's why we have the husband is the head. You know, of his family. So he can lead. They have to be under one mind. And so they can get along with each other. Same thing when two ladies get together. You know, it's wrong. But, but that's just how it is. You know, women are supposed to go with women. It's wrong. It's like men not supposed to go with men. Lay down with another man. It's wrong according to the word of God, you know. But when two men get together, it's the same thing. One of them got to act like a woman. One of them have to let the other one lead, you know. If two of them try to lead, both of them try to lead, they'll stay in the argument. They won't get along. They have to split from each other. The same thing as the husband and the wife. If the woman try to be the leader, the ruler, the average time, the marriage won't work. They have to split, get a divorce. This is what happened in marriages. See, the woman want to rule. This is why we're having all the divorces and destroying the children. And the children do the same, follow the same example. Because they're not setting an example for their children, for their daughters and their son. See, that's why the world is filled with violence and chaos. Started way back then since in the 50s, late 50s and 60s. You know, they raised up dogs. You know, because these women talking about the men's are dogs and pigs. But that's what they raised up. You know, feminist movement. You know, equal right movement. Abortion right people. All that, you know. Came up with transgender and all that. Homosexuality. You know, all want rights, but that's where we at now. See, but one thing lead to another and destroy the family. We don't have any family no more. See, call up about women right, feminist movement. You know, the left. See, the Democrat. That's why they call a the Democrat the left. Because they're on the left hand side. You know what the Lord said about the, the one on the left, prepare for the devil and his angels. The one on the right, prepare for the kingdom of God. You know, something like that, how it's said. But that's just how it is, you know. But, you know, God have rules for us to follow, you know. That goes for everybody. You're working on a job. It's rules. Everywhere is rules. You know. You know. Nobody can do what they want to do. We all follow somebody. We all, all have somebody over us. The man have somebody over him too. You know. He can't do what he want to do. See the women. 
think wrong, think evil. If two women get together, one of them have to rule. It's the same thing. You know, one got to be the leader. See, two men get together, one will have to be the leader. And it's wrong, but they still follow that rule as a man and a husband. A woman, a, a man and his wife. You know, a husband and wife. They still follow that same rule. And that's what I was trying to show you. I'll read to you like in Roman chapter 1 and verse 26. It says this. For this cause God give them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise the men leaving the natural use of the woman burning in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was met. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. See, they don't want to retain God in their knowledge no more. See, God give them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. See? They don't want to serve God no more. They don't want God in their knowledge. I've been saying that. Especially the Democrat. They don't want God. They were, like I said, they would so called talk about God, but they would lie about it and try to fool the people. But it just ends them. You know. Pay attention. You know. Because a lot of people said they don't want to talk about God. Now they want to try to make believe that they want to talk about God. But it's just not in them. They don't even know the word of God. They don't want to know, really. Because they're for same-sex marriage. And that's wrong. It's read to you right there. You can see for yourself. Read the Bible. Go in the Old Testament. Leviticus chapter 18 and chapter 20. It'll tell you about it. God don't want you to do that. You know. They can repent. You know, if they stop doing it. God will save them. But, you know, they keep doing this and God just give them up to a reprobate mind. You know, it's all up to you. Everybody. We all sin. But we can repent for our sin. You know, this goes for everybody. Me, you, homosexual people, everybody. Adultery people, fornicated people. They have to just, just stop. You know, that's for everybody. God is a just God. You know, He forgive you if you repent. Stop doing it. And turn to Him. But that's what I wanted to bring to y'all today. You know, women seem that they don't want to obey their husband no more. You know, it's the same thing. You know, when two gay people get there, two lesbian people get together, one of them have to rule the other one. One of them have to be the head. It's no different, the same thing. Just how it is, just like an army. You put one captain to lead a bunch of people. You know, everybody can't lead themselves. You know, because everybody have a different mind. And you can't get these women to understand it. They're like the old grown women, just like a two year old child. You know, I mean, he's supposed to be teaching their young daughters that, you know, all these things, the rule of God. I mean, it's just a common sense thing, you know. You know, if you're leader of something, I mean, you're the head of something, you know. Just like the police officer is supposed to be, be obedience, you know. It's common sense, supposed to obey, you know, like a judge or anything, because they're all for you. But thank y'all, and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom.